Hey guys, it's Silver Alpaca here, and sorry, sorry, my cat's being mental. <laughs> mental kitty cat. Sorry. Um. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a um review of the Fiore King Bayer Classic. That's what he looks like with text up. And he comes with, um, so, the six fast posts, so there's six of these. It's difficult to hardly use the webcam. <laughs> they come with six of these little fence pieces. And I'm gonna get one. <laughs> so it comes with six, and you can make. Um, you can make a little crown. I actually had it over there at the ink barn. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of cool because you can move it and make different shapes. The fortune cookie! <laughs> Um, but he comes in this box, it's got the nice little background, um, that I always seen for it, and it says, um, what the fuck is So it contains the Palomino, um, paint, Pinto, sorry, um, Western bridle and saddle, saddle pad, racing barrel, and six fencing sections. And um, again, here's the picture of him packed up, I'm showing you the picture of him packed up because I don't have his pack on. But, um, so this is the little barrel it comes with. It's got this and fur. And it's made of plastic. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. It's a barrel. It's lovely. Um, and then to the tack, his bridle. I accidentally pulled on his bridle and the little brown part popped out and I haven't had a chance to fix it yet. But the bridle is very good. It works for a couple of my horses that aren't briar. Um, but I like it. It works pretty good. Um, until I broke it. So I need to fix it. <laughs> I just haven't had time. Um, and then here's a saddle. And it's a nice saddle. It's made of like the rubber. Um, since the classic saddles and bridles are made of like the uh, rubbery plastic stuff and the traditional is made of fabric I think I don't have any traditional pack or anything I have one traditional horse and yeah well, this one. she's retired um but um so that's his tack and his saddle pad it looks really pretty on him because blue looks really pretty on him and so that's his tack it works pretty well with my classic riders that I have. And the actual horse himself is gorgeous. Um, I called this guy Pinocchio, um, just because I like the name Pinocchio. He's my buddy. <laughs> um, hang on. I don't have, I don't, I don't have, there we go. Um, but anyway, he's really pretty. Um, the only default issue I've had with him is, um, he doesn't stand very well on carpet. Let me show you. Where is he? He doesn't stand very well. <laughs> Go figure, he stands pretty well now, but... Yeah. Usually he doesn't stand very well. Um. There, he just fell over. Um. <laughs> but... Other than that, like, he doesn't stand very well on the carpet, and he's came with this bump on his hoof. You can r not really see it, but it's like that little white spot there. And I've tried to figure out what I'm going to do with it, because it affects his standing. Um, and also, I saw, I got him off of Amazon, because that's where I get all my briars, except for this one. 
or if I get them for Christmas gifts or something. I actually found this one at a quote unquote yard sale at this thing. Um, they hold at a park um, over the summer. It's a little yard sale, and this lady had a whole bunch of brayers she was getting rid of, and my parents let me pick one and gave it to me for my birthday. So, um, but I read reviews on him that you shouldn't use his handle or his tail as a handle. Um, sorry, I just noticed a bump there. Um, he's got a little bump by his tail. Um. But they say you shouldn't use his tail as a handle, because they say his tail breaks off. I haven't had any issues with his tail, and I sometimes use it, but I usually mostly use their legs. But, um, I would agree, his tail does seem flimsy, so I'd be careful. Um, on Amazon, I think he is... Does it sound the box? Um... He's like, I think he's like, uh, $15 on Amazon. Um, let me look. Oops. But, I think he's pretty decent. His face is really cute. Uh, okay, I was wrong. I apparently got him from a cheaper price, on a cheaper price. If you go to Amazon and Google Briar Palomino paint, it says he is twenty-two dollars. Um, Briar Classic Barrel. Whoops, spelled Barrel wrong. Um, yeah, apparently his price went up. I got him for like fifteen, I think. But he's I mean, I like him. He's cute. He's got an adorable face. He's definitely worth the money, as long as you're careful with his tail. Um, his hooves, I didn't know if they were supposed to be, like, that or not, but I, I don't care. Um, he has no paint chipping or anything. Um, the only damage that, he didn't come with hardly any damage. Any damage that he has done, I accidentally did to him. Sorry, little guy. But he's just a wonderful mold. I highly recommend him, whether you put him on, like, your Christmas wish list or birthday wish list or whatever. He's definitely one I would add if you're a big um, classics collector. And I just think he's so pretty. I mean, look at that little face. Yeah, so I definitely think you should, any, anybody could get him. He's so pretty. Well, I hope this review helped you if you're thinking about getting the barrel racing kit. And I hope if you do decide to get him, you enjoy him or her. And, um, yeah. Bye!